Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into the tarot, then we're going to pull out an oracle card, then we're going to get into Spirit's message to see uh, what is coming towards you for the remaining of the month of March uh, in regards to your love and romance. So your first card here is the princess, or sorry, the prince of swords. Okay. We have the moon card here. The six of wands. Temperance card. Okay. Maybe dealing with the Pisces. Maybe dealing with the Sagittarius or fire energy here. We have the star card. The six of cups. The king of swords air energy here two of swords the hierophant and the two of pentacles okay let's see what's going on gemini so right at the center i do see you guys being a bit nostalgic or looking towards the past for some of you guys um you may be dealing with a person from the past i feel that you're being watched um is what they're telling me for some of you guys, you're being watched uh, by someone that in the past perhaps was interested in you or perhaps you could have had a connection with them. Um, I see you guys, uh, when it comes to communication, I feel that you guys are holding back. Uh, this could be a situation that you've been dealing with for a while, almost like you're being tongue-tied or like you have to be very careful the way you express yourself because it could be coming off the wrong way um, to the person of your interest. I do see that there is a lot of imbalances here. So you have the two of swords and the two of pentacles. There is a need for you to see things clearly and concisely or to remove uh, to remove the something you're not wanting to see clearly here. Um, now we do have here the six of wands with the temperance card. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the situation of the past, meaning there could have been a situation that was or has affected your relationship or the connection with the person that you're currently dealing with. Uh, it could have been behavior or something that was done in the past that they just seem to still be holding on to that. Um, and I feel them being like very much into their feelings about that. It could have been that someone in this connection either uh, loved the attention, loved to get attention. Uh, it could be that you caught them, you know, texting or communicating with someone on social media, that type of energy. But they didn't really, it's almost the feeling like they're, they like to portray that they're trusting you, but they're not really trusting you, Gemini. Or this could be you. Keep in mind, it is a general reading. However, I do see the star card and the star card is illuminating the six of cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are revisiting the past. For others of you, you may be re uh, revisiting a situation um, that created a bit of tension in this connection. Now, you do have here the temperance, the king of swords and the hierophant. So I feel that for some of you guys, if you are in a committed relationship, it could just represent that things that have been done in the past, whether you or your partner, you guys are being very nostalgic about it or revisiting the past, bringing certain situations uh, to light again. And it's almost like a frustrating type of like, I don't know how to deal with it. I thought we were over this type of situation, um, but it still keeps popping up. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, it could represent that you're looking very much into the past. It could be that you're still not over a specific individual that perhaps you were dating or seeing. Um, there was a lot of things that were hidden or a lot of things that were kept uh, behind the scenes. And it's almost like I see someone stalking here. So it could be the person that you're no longer with. For those of you guys that are in a commitment or in a committed relationship, I see someone watching you from a distance. If you can look at the six of cups here in this deck, you could see a person in the background and I see them like very much like seeing how you're doing or seeing how your relationship is progressing. Um, but I definitely see that you're being watched. Now, for others of you, you could be, you know, being watched through social medias. Um, 
you may find out that someone's been watching you. You may see them in your stories or something like that where there hasn't been any more communication, but they're still watching you. You know what I mean? And, and I feel that for some of you guys, it's like, wow, this person still can't get over me. Um, and I definitely see that someone is still in their feelings about you, Gemini. But again, there is a need for you to have balance. There is a need for you to, for some of you guys, you, you could even be dealing with two different people. We do have the two of swords and two of pentacles. And this is an indication of not wanting to make a choice or refusing to make a choice. Um, with the hierophant, it could represent that there is almost like wanting if you are entertaining two different individuals, it's almost like wanting to know more about them to try to figure out uh, who's best for you. And I feel that if you're in the dating stages, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the whole point of dating. But if you are um, leading someone on, just be careful with that because with the star card here and the moon card, I do see it coming out to the open. Uh, so just be mindful about that. Now, let's see what your oracle cards have to say in regards to your love and romance here. Gemini's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You may also be dealing, Gemini, with a person that... Um, that may be entertaining to other people, meaning you and someone else. Uh, perhaps they're not being clear on where they want to take this connection or this relationship. Um, but I feel that you're starting to either see or starting to sense that something is off. And if that's something that you're currently dealing with, what they're telling you is pay attention to your intuition because I feel that uh, spirit is trying to guide you. So as an example, what they're giving me is... If the person, you know, continuously texted you throughout the day and now all of a sudden they're only like sporadically texting you, uh, they make it seem like they're busy. It could just represent that they're dealing with another person. So be mindful about that. All right. So your message here is you did not break me. Okay. Your next card here is I scared myself that day. And I love myself enough to walk away. I feel that this is your energy, Gemini. Um, it could have been a situation where you were the one that perhaps your partner stepped out of the relationship was or was entertaining another person. Um, with the you did not break me, it could have been a situation where still to this day, it's been difficult for you either to move on or to completely cut them off. Um, I scared myself that day could represent the fear. It's almost like when you intuitively feel like something is off and then all of a sudden it starts to, uh, you know, you start to get clarity, you start to see things or hear or find out news, things like that. And it's kind of like my worst nightmare came into the reality. You know what I mean? That type of energy. Um, what they're telling you here is I scared, uh, sorry, I left myself enough to walk away. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you will you will be walking away from this situation if you're dealing with someone that has a tendency of stepping out of the relationship or dealing with other people. Um, this can also represent that you're in the process of learning to love yourself, Gemini, and no longer uh, sacrificing your sanity or sacrifice. Kind what I'm sensing is kind of like when people try to make it seem like, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. And then things start to add up where you get to the point of saying like, OK, so I wasn't crazy. I was intuitively picking up on this shit and you've been like messing around or doing shit you shouldn't have done. Um, so it's almost a validation. And what spirit is telling you here is learn to love yourself, learn to not sacrifice or not put yourself in a, in a situation where you sh you feel like you should give them more or love them more because they're not going to appreciate what they already have. Do you see what I'm saying? So let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to this situation. Spirits, what are the messages? What is the direct message that you want to communicate to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? in regards to the situation. 
Okay. So we have 33. So what they're saying here is success, security, certainty. Uh, but a conclusion is also coming. Uh, problems to the solution. This is basically what they're telling you here is if you've gotten news or information about the person that you're currently dealing with um, and it came from a source that perhaps you don't trust, pay attention to how they're acting. Pay attention to their actions, not their words. Uh, there is definitely a conclusion coming. But the positive in 33 is that you, it, whatever the outcome may be in this situation, it is always going to be to the best of your interest. There is success coming towards you. Whether it's being able to overcome this obstacle or whether it's seeing things clearly for what they really are and making the decision to walk away and love yourself enough, that's going to ultimately uh, bring to you the success or the uh, stability in a relationship that you're really wanting. Uh, unfortunately, it may not come through the person that you're currently dealing with or that you're currently with. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.